we'll talk about angle facts. Let's look at some angle facts that you already know, shall we? Angle facts. A little bit of revision, just to show you that in fact what we're going to be doing is nothing as frightening as it sounds. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So you draw a triangle, three sides, doesn't matter about the length of the sides, it is an angle fact that these three angles would always add up to 180 degrees. That's an angle fact. Here's another angle fact. The exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of the interior opposite angles. Again, any triangle you like, doesn't matter what the length of the sides are, if you extend one of the sides, you have is an exterior angle. These are the interior angles, and this is the exterior angle. These two angles here are the interior opposite angles. So we have that the exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of the interior opposite angles. This one plus this one would be the value of this one here. That's an angle fact. Here's another angle fact. The sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Any four-sided shape, doesn't matter how long the sides are, is called a quadrilateral, and the angles added up to 360 degrees. These are angle facts. So when we talk about circle theorems, I think maybe it would be just a little bit easier if we talked about circle theorems or circle angle facts. They're just facts that you have to learn. Okay? So, we're going to be going through the angle facts in a circle. Circle theorems. Let's have a look at the first one. But before we do that, I need to make sure you're happy with the names of parts of the circle. So let's go through a few of these Starting with the nice and simple one. This is called the centre of the circle. I want this to be easy, so let's work through this slowly. Um, then, of course, we have the radius. The radius of the circle is from the centre of the circle to the outside. That's the radius of the circle. The diameter of the circle. That's any line passing through the centre. I'm sure you know all of these. When I do these in the classroom, I usually find... Eventually I come to one that other people haven't heard of. Semicircle. That would be half of the circle. So if you use the diameter, then in fact you've got a semicircle. Circumference. That's all the way around the outside. All the way around the outside is circumference. And arc. I usually do centre, radius, diameter, semicircle, circumference. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. And all of a sudden I say the word arc, and then somebody's looking a little bit blank. If you have two points on a circle, then this part is called the arc. All the way around is the circumference, this is called an arc of a circle. Okay, let's just do a few more parts of the circle. There's always somebody that hasn't heard of the chord. Spelt C-H-O-R-D, chord. If you draw a line from one side of the circle to the other, that is a chord. If it's passing through the centre, and as we know, it's a diameter. So the diameter is a special chord. A chord is a line from one side of the circle to the other. Segment. Segment. If you cut a circle with a chord, you have a segment. So that shape is a segment. There's a segment. So a segment. A sector, if you draw two radii, like slicing a cake, two radii, then the shape that you get here, this is called a sector. So a segment is like that. Sector is like that. Tangent. A tangent is a straight line touching a curve. It doesn't actually have to be a circle, but see we're doing circle theorems. That's a tangent. A tangent is a line just touching the circle. Tangent. 
And the last one here, cyclic quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means a four-sided shape. But if the points of the quadrilateral are actually on a circle, then in fact you've got a special quadrilateral called a cyclic quadrilateral. So, now we've got parts of a circle. We can now go back to the main point of the session. Circle theorems or circle angle facts. Circle angle facts. Here's the first one. Let's suppose you have two points on the circumference of a circle. It doesn't matter where those two points are at all. But let's suppose you have two points. There we go. Let's mark them like this. There's one point, And there's another point. And let's have the centre of the circle. Now if we have an angle and we do that, we call this the angle subtended at the centre of the circle. So here's a chord. A chord is two points joined on the outside of the circle. There's a chord. And this is called the angle subtended at the centre of the centre of the circle. Angle subtended at the centre of the circle. If we put any point on the outside of the circle, it doesn't matter where we put it, it's an angle fact that the angle of the centre will be twice the angle of circumference. That angle there is twice that angle there. Let's do that again. Two points anywhere on the circumference of the circle, it doesn't matter where they are. A line joining those two points would be called a chord, and if we put it at the centre of the circle, this is called subtending an angle to the centre of a circle. This is the angle subtended at the centre of the circle. If we take another point anywhere on the circumference, and I do mean anywhere, it doesn't matter where you take it, this will be the angle subtended at the circumference of a circle. And you will find, it's an angle fact, a circle angle fact, that the angle at the centre is twice the angle circumference. It doesn't matter where that point is. You will still find the angle at the centre is twice the angle of the circumference. So this is angle fact number one. So let's have a look at that written down. Here we are. Circle theorem number one, or circle angle fact number one. The angle subtended of the centre of a circle is twice the angle subtended of the circumference. Let's look at that. Two points. Let's call them P and Q, shall we? P and Q. There's the centre of the circle. This we would say is the angle subtended at the centre of the circle. There's the angle subtended at the centre of the circle. It doesn't matter where you pick the point on the circumference, anywhere you like, let's pick it over there. It is an angle fact that the angle is set, oops, that one very clever, that's better. That's it. The angle of the centre of the circle is twice the angle of the circumference of the circle. That's circle fact number one. Circle fact number one. Let's look at a couple of questions here. This one. Find the angle AOC. So we have the, the angle AOC. C is the angle at the centre of the circle, and the angle ABC, the angle ABC, is the angle of the circumference. The angle subtended at the centre of the circle is twice the angle subtended at the circumference of the circle. And it's quite simply that that must be two 42s, that angle is 96 degrees. It really is a simple angle 